Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love, liberty, and, of course, cheesesteaks. But there's a lot more to Philly's dairy scene than cheese whiz and provolone. From creamy breeze to pungent blues, the local cheese movement here is booming. And it's all thanks to the region's artisan farmers. We're here at Yellow Springs Farm in Chester County, Pennsylvania, where farmers Catherine and Al Renzi handcraft over 30 different varieties of artisanal goat cheeses using milk from the farm. The Renzi's cheeses go way beyond your standard grocery store chef. We make both fresh cheeses and then surface ripened cheeses. These would be the cheeses similar to brie or camembert. And then we make aged cheeses that would be more similar to say a Gouda or Manchego. But the one thing all of Yellow Springs cheeses have in common, they couldn't be made anywhere but here. Our pastures are unique. Uh, to this area. The soils are unique and we have a very unique goat that we have bred over the years. We really hold to that idea of that our cheese is of this place and it's not just the recipe but that whole experience from field to the milking room to the cheese kitchen to the aging cave that makes that cheese unique. Of course, the cheese making process itself begins with milk, courtesy of the farm's very hungry and very impatient Nubian goats. Oh, they know what's going on, too. This isn't their first rodeo. All right, I'll get out of the way. <laughs> uh, they're not shy. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> Are they good milk producers? We select goats that will have a higher butter fat percentage and higher protein percentage in their milk. If the milk's not good, the cheese will never be good. But the Renzi's rich, creamy goat's milk isn't the only ingredient that makes their cheese of this place. We cultivate about 100 or more species of native flowers, grasses, shrubs, and trees. Some of the cheeses we make include the native plants in the recipes. And that's a really lovely thing for us to connect the foodscape and the landscape. Even in winter, the farm's stately sycamores and textured stone buildings lend a distinct character to the landscape, one that the Renzi's strive to capture in cheeses like Fieldstone. Name for the stone walls that you'll see at our house, our spring house, and our barn. And... What are we making today, Al? We are making red leaf cheese, which is a semi-soft cheese that's marinated in red wine and uh, wrapped in sycamore leaves. It imparts an earthiness, sort of a herbaceous taste to the cheese that sort of combines nicely with the red wine. Now, how did you get the idea to start combining native plants with the cheese? Well, uh, actually the inspiration came from an Italian cheesemaker. He was giving us some recipes and he told us, you can go home and try to make this cheese, but it's never gonna be what we make here. And he suggested that we just go home and make our own cheese. And that really served as an inspiration to look around our farm and to see if we could utilize our native plants in our cheese making. The Renzi's focus on evoking a sense of place in their cheeses has won the hearts of many a local connoisseur, including Chef Patrick Fury of nearby Nectar Restaurant. On tonight's menu, a risotto featuring Pepito, one of Yellow Springs' aged cheeses. The cheese scene has kind of really come up around the whole area. It's not like we're using an inferior product because it's a, it's a world-class product we have here. But perhaps the best way to enjoy Yellow Springs cheeses is also one of the simplest, a cheese plate. Wow, this looks amazing. What do we have here? Great. Well, we have the Black Diamond, Goat's Beard, Cloud Nine, Pepito, and the Fieldstone, all from Yellow Springs Farm, all goat cheese. Mm, this one looks good. I'm going to try this one. Mm. It's really earthy. Yeah. It brings you right back to the farm. Yeah, well, enjoy. Thank Cheers. you. 